That's a T cell, all lit up in red. And you can see how busy it is. Uh, this is migrating around in a laboratory culture dish, so you can watch it. And it's, it's searching its environment. Uh, it's moving constantly. It's got all these ruffles. Now it's found a cancer cell. And it's really getting excited. It's lighting up uh, its uh, membrane with all of those ruffles and trying to figure out how can it pull together its armamentarium uh, to actually do that cancer cell in. And what it has going for it, see those red globules, though, uh, in there? Those are granules which are capable, if they get released into the cancer cell, to basically rupture its membrane. And you can see those granules more clearly here. They even line up appropriately when they get close to a cancer cell and get ready to blast it. Now I'm going to show you what happens when we let this whole thing happen. The T cells are in green, the cancer cells in red. You see that bright flash? That was when the T cell ruptured the cancer cell's membrane and the dye that we're using slipped inside the cell and gave you a big bright flash. There goes another one. These are really fun to watch. This is like a video game, except this is serious stuff. This is about life and death. And this is happening all the time, probably, to prevent cancers in each of us. But if it gets out of control, we need to unleash those green T cells to do this. And that's what some of the new immunotherapies are all about. One of those, in fact, was the result of the Lasker Award, the sort of US Nobel Prize uh, being awarded just a couple days ago to James Allison. Well, I could let this run for a while, but I think you get the idea 